the the Wait, plot of Black it? Panther two is like they're in Wakanda and then a dude just comes out of the water. I don't want to lie to you and tell you I remember the plot. Dude, that's uh, just the that's asleep. just the Montgomery brawl, dude. Oh, <laughs> that happened in real life. Oh, yes, it is. That's that happened in real life. Yeah, yes, that is. The wings on the shoes is the fucking hat yeah, he threw yeah, in the yeah, air, dude. Jordan. <laughs> dude, they copied it bar for bar, Man, dude. That's fucked yeah. up. Damn. <laughs> oh, that's this motherfucker, JJ boy. <laughs> this is the Clown College Podcast. We're just a couple open micers trying to make our way through the scene. Where we interview comedians throughout different stages of their comedy career, no matter if they're open micers, headliners, or traveling comedians. I'm here too, Jamie 2.0. I just talk a lot more. Damn it, Brandon. Go sit in the corner. Hey guys, what's going on, y'all? Hey, it's us again. We have extra refreshments here for anyone who would like. So, how was your weekend, JJ? It was all right. Huh? It was how did right. Friday go? <laughs> it was real good. I had a lot of fun at Stand Up Live. I forgot my joke on stage, my <laughs> first joke. Three minutes, a lot. It's a lot of material to remember. Dude. You do. It's I mean, a lot that, of material. That's one of the remember. hardest. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Three minutes. You got to get in there, bang. Who? Thirty minute sets. I don't respect you. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> Fuck you, Jonathan Silver. <laughs> My boss. <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm sorry, man. No, I'm no, so- well, I don't even know what you. What are you sorry about? I'm sorry. I forgot to record Dom's set. The best set I've ever did night. in my life. Yeah, that was amazing. Is I? Man. Is I? <laughs> is I? You know, I'm sorry I missed that one. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. Jake was fucking with me, dude. Yeah, I couldn't pay attention. Mm-hmm. Jake, had I just him. kept watching him chug beers. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out Jake. Jake <laughs> he, had, he had like four of them. The, the uh, waiter five. came over and their shit just clanging together. <laughs> yeah, I looked over when they were clearing the table, damn. he bought a six pack. He had to stick his fingers in each one. <laughs> Stand up live. Each beer is eight dollars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's a big baller. Also funny, hilarious, very hilarious funny. guy. Very funny. He's gonna be on here soon. I think in some capacity, probably before he has his own episode, right? Probably. Uh, probably. It's just yeah. too funny. Get, get him on here. Just let him go. Uh, what's, up, what's up with you, Brandon? Man, same thing. Went down to Stand Up Live. Finally got to go up. I did forget some shit. It, but, it was, yeah. but you know that's what happens. Yeah. That's what happened. It was good. Then after that, I got fucked up in the middle of the night. Had a big-ass cheesecake. Shouldn't have done that. Fucked Ooh. up. Had some talkies with it. Then I was crying all day. Oh. You ate a whole cheesecake? Basically, man, it's like, I'm going to show you what's left. We're talking about like an 8-inch, 10-inch <laughs> yeah. cheesecake? Yeah, like I just went to the place, $14. From Publix? Oh, Blue Mouse. Oh, Blue Mouse. Oh. Yep, from Publix, man. I kid you not, I went in there, went home, ate all the shit. And... Publix does got the best bakery. Mm-hmm. Oh, dude. It's not even close. Dude. Yeah. Walmart gets shat on by Publix. Walmart doesn't hold If you're not from the South, can. dude, move here just yeah. for Publix. Oh, hell yeah. And their uh, subs. The pub mm-hmm. subs go hard, dude. The, the chicken is good. The chicken tender subs. Oh, dude, everything. Oh, the deli dude. goes yeah. crazy. Potato wedges. Hell yeah. yeah. Everything, dude. So you want to tell the people how we got sexually assaulted? Uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> um, so basically, this is the Me Too section of the podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have to say something. I'm we sorry. Were, we were at Lone Goose mm-hmm. Friday night after the stand-up live, Mike. Yeah, yeah, it was, yeah. you know, me, you, Sci-Fi, Jalen Brown. Charlie Fisher, Jake Muncie, Dan Price. Everybody was there. Yeah, yeah. A lot of people was there. And we were standing by like the end of the bar, me and Dom standing next to each other, and a gentleman is passing us to get to the water station, the hydration station, if you will. And he just grabs a handful of my ass, and I look over, and Dom's already looking at me, and I'm like, He grabbed Damn. me by, in my 36 years of living. Nobody, no grown man has ever grabbed me by my hips to move me out the way. First yeah. of all, I'm 300 pounds. Don't grab me by the fucking <laughs> yeah, hips. What the fuck? You tap me on the shoulder. Can I get right by you? And they entered you, right? He got up. No, he... Oh, I he, thought he got up. I thought you said... Oh, hell, no. fuck no, dude. I he, thought you said It was sorry. outside. It was a handful of cheek, <laughs> oh, dude. Fuck. It was crazy. <laughs> he, why was he so comfortable with doing that? I don't know, but I don't but know I why I was so comfortable with it happening. I didn't really give a fuck, to yeah, be honest. Yeah, you didn't. Dan Price was like, what are you guys talking about? That happens every time I go. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Well, for Dan, it makes sense, dude. <laughs> that twink. <laughs> <laughs> Wait till you see Dan. He's the opposite of a twink. I'll tell uh, you that. Ex Marine, dude. Yeah. That's yeah, where yeah. all the twinks come from. That dude. is true. That is true. I've seen the videos. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, um, damn, I forgot what the fuck I was about to say. That's why you don't smoke weed, guys. Man. True. That. Yeah. I just totally lost my Shout mind. out, uh, well, I probably shouldn't say his name no. for the gas before this oh, show. Oh, hell yeah. Because yeah, yeah. I hit that shit and, you know, I'm kind of here. Mm-hmm. I'm kind of not. Yeah. And it's legal. 
It's le- yeah, legal. That's the T-A-C-A. fucking crazy thing. Like, 2018 oh, farm bill. Now I'm fucking yeah. ready to eat this pizza out there. But I don't think some of that shit that they sell at the shops that they say is legal, that cannot be legal. Can't be. Oh, yeah, no. I, I get or like trip harder off bypass. of that than weed. Mm-hmm. Yeah. What'd you say? I Like that shit hits me harder than weed does. Oh, hell yeah. Yeah. At the shop. At the shop, Cannon Bar Mercantile. At the shop. Perfect. Come see us Monday. Monday nights. Mm -hmm. First and third. We have good times. Hey, we have good times. And you'll see the host of the mic later on this episode. Mm -hmm. And you are in for a treat because Nico, we don't even know what the fuck's going to happen. No. He might flip this table over. <laughs> he might start dancing on it and singing karaoke, which is really oh good. Oh my gosh, he kills on yeah, karaoke. He's actually surprisingly good at that. Uh, so, Brandon, uh, anything happened with you? Oh, uh, man. Dude. You want to talk, you wanna talk about it? Yep, you know, man. <laughs> you want to talk uh, about it? Yeah, you know they what? They saw it in this yep, episode. You know what? It's still okay, not y'all uploaded. saw it. Working on it. Hmm? I got scarred at work. Let me tell you what happened. <laughs> it's the middle of the night. I'm talking to these girls, which is my mother, my girl, my mom. No, fuck that. My mother, my girl, and my sister. I'm tripping. Yeah, it's right two now. moms. Yeah, and then <laughs> an old parents. lady calls, right? Bone marrow, or baby. Or supposedly an old lady, as I thought, saying, hey, why are you playing that white old jazz? You don't play that white jazz. What's That's wrong with jazz, you? jazz, baby. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, oh, shit, everybody's thinking something wrong with me. I'm playing too much white jazz. I say, what do you want to hear? <laughs> play that Mo Lewis. And while I'm trying, because we got to dig in crates, man. We old school. So I'm digging real fast. She keeps saying, you let them call your Negro. <laughs> you let them call your Negro. And I'm like, miss, what? You let them call your Negro. No, I don't let them call No, me I do not. He no, said, no, I, I do, do not. not. I was taking this down. I was saying, hell no. Nah. But you know, then I would have probably lost my job. And then she's like, you know why I called you, right? Because I'm a lonely old lady trying to have some fun or something like you want to come on over i know you get off work after this and i'm like uh you know not today miss maybe some other time but no i'm good i'm good and he's like okay blow me a kiss then i was like i didn't do it the first time second time i'm like all right goodbye like, don't let him call you nigga and then i found out it was him <laughs> i was so shocked man i was like Dude, but no, after oh, it happened, man. he came up to us at the next open mic. Oh, after yeah. Mike was like, he told us his whole story. He didn't know it was us. No clue. Mm-hmm. Then we come in here to film the video. It's like, Brandon, we need to practice this new way of watching clips up on the TV. And we start playing that video in his fucking face. You'll see it. Yeah. His fucking face. It's out face. now. Yeah. Well, yeah it's, it's on Alex Aziz's uh, episode. But whenever... Uh, <laughs> I thought he was mad when, he, when we oh, filmed the reaction. No. Didn't you see that? He didn't understand. Yeah, I was surprised. He was process. It took him like ten minutes to process what was going on, and the video was only three minutes long. Yeah, I was I was surprised I and high. Yeah, <laughs> he was just sitting there like, <laughs> I couldn't believe. It. <laughs> Like, what? It's like the... watching somebody watch a movie. Yeah. But it's just that I'm in, surprisingly. <laughs> felt like I found I was adopted or something. <laughs> well, you know. Yeah, you that's how know. I felt too. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> he feels bad for you, JJ. No, it's a, I feel bad for you, Brandon. Thank you, man. That I, was hey, crazy. I appreciate it. <laughs> for multiple reasons. <laughs> I know, man. That yeah. And no, then the next day I remember my mom, she found out about it. she was like, I know, were they laughing with you or after you? I'm like, dude, no, they laughing with me. He's like, you sure? I remember when you were a kid, he used to throw sticks and rocks. You thought they were laughing with you? No. Damn, weird. dude. I know, that was weird. Not only are we laughing with you, I mean, who else wouldn't laugh? You're one of the funniest people. Oh, yeah. I mean, God, just na- yeah. you're just naturally funny. Well, like, full disclosure, during the video of the prank call, we are laughing at you. <laughs> yeah, because know, sure. Because it's, the, it's a prank. But then, like, when I'm watching it with you, I'm laughing with you. Dude, I'm laughing at that shit. That was shit funny was as hell. Dude, man. I was like, that's comedy gold, man. It couldn't have turned out better than it did. <laughs> it couldn't have turned like, out better. You can't write so that good. shit. And, and, it, and then to come to find out that Mo Lewis is white. Yes, dude. He <laughs> said, I don't want to that white ball. jazz. And then he says Mo Lewis. Stop playing white jazz. Mm, he had Play on Mo Lewis, jacket. dude. Look, if he's listening right now, I'm sorry. But <laughs> Mo Lewis doesn't sound like a white dude. Nah, no, it didn't. I thought he was an old black dude. For sure. You know, sometimes you can just you can just tell by the name. Mm-hmm. Walter, almost never a white dude. Because yeah. he'll oh, be Walter's like, a white dude. Oh, if he's like over a hundred years old. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. <laughs> oh yeah, R.I.P. R.I.P. Jimmy man? Carter's wife. She died. Yeah, she I heard that during the football broadcast. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, that's not funny. That she, that's no, that's funny. very that But but was funny <laughs> was that they were like R.I.P. Jimmy Carter's wife, ninety six years old, real OG, mm-hmm. and he's like, and back to the game. <laughs> yeah, they just like swept it. Yeah, okay. Now let's get back to the important. He's like, like yeah, and fuck? enough of that bullshit. <laughs> back to what really yeah, matters. He, she was old anyway. 
weird shit. Watching people uh, do TikTok dances after they score a touchdown. Dude. Yeah. That's exactly how it went. And watch the Rezo channel with Scott Hansen. Yeah. <laughs> He's the best. Chris Hansen's brother, dude. Yeah, I think they are. Oh. Are they? No, I have no clue. <laughs> I'm just spreading misinformation. <laughs> that's all this podcast is. That's, that's all oh, yeah. Spreading misinformation. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so what's up? What else is new? You got sexually assaulted. You didn't feel my set. Brandon got prank phone call. Yeah. Mm. Oh, I hosted for the first time. No, we talked about that last episode. Oh, I'm high, guys. <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry. I host, host again. For the, uh, <laughs> yeah. Silver oh, yeah. dollar open mic. But you are the host now, right? Mm. Not for homegrown yet, but for the silver dollar, it's, I'm just guest hosting. Jonathan's out of town. And what date is that? So they know. December seventh. December seventh. Mm. Come out and check out. Anniversary of Pearl Harbor, actually. Oh. December seventh. Mm. Nintendo Switch also came out on December seventh. Mm. Wow. Two Japanese attacks, dude. That's crazy. I hope Alex doesn't show up. <laughs> oh shit! Yeah, that joke gonna be wild. <laughs> we don't want to have a hate crime <laughs> Man, going on shit. there. No, he'll probably be busy celebrating. The Lunar New Year. <laughs> that is some shit. <laughs> he made a joke about it, I swear. Mm-hmm. I think it's Year of the Dragon. What? Year of the Dragon. You know how they have like the 12 animals? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's like Year of the Rat, but it's Year of the Dragon mm-hmm. now. That's pretty dope. That, that is dope. I fuck with dragons. Me yeah. too. Way rather, better than a rat. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Fuck that. Rats scared the shit out of me, man. What's your favorite animal, Brandon? My I feel favorite like animal? This is going to be a this crazy You know what's good. fucked up? When I was a kid, it was a shark and a bear. And then I was like, man, I want to meet one and shit. But you know. <laughs> I told you, man, my, my little dumbass. But then when I got older, I was like, fuck that. So now, I don't fucking know. Probably a panther. I don't know. A panther? Okay. Yeah, a good fuck one. it. Black that, panther, man. But you, but, equally as dangerous Yeah, I was going to say. Yeah, they are. But I don't want to see that shit. <laughs> a black one? Or just yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's a cool one. No race stuff. I just like the black panther. Hell yeah, dude. Wakanda forever. Hell fucking yeah. R.I.P. Chadwick Boseman. Yeah. R.I.P. R.I.P. Jimmy Carter's and wife. they should have recasted it for the, I'll stand on that. <laughs> the the Wait, plot of Black shit? Panther 2 is like they're in Wakanda and then a dude just comes out of the water. I don't want to lie to you and tell you I remember the plot. Dude, that's uh, just the that's asleep. just the Montgomery brawl, dude. Oh. <laughs> that happened in real life. Oh, yes, it is. That's, that happened in real life. Yeah, yes, that is. <laughs> the wings on the shoes is the fucking hat hey, he threw in the air, dude. The <laughs> dude. They copied it bar for bar, Man, dude. That's fucked yeah. up. Damn. Oh, that's this motherfucker, JJ boy. You know, you in that Seinfeld shirt. Who's your favorite character, Seinfeld? Uh, man, you know, it used to be Kramer. You know, uh-huh. I, I like to do that spazzed on stage. <laughs> yeah, they went crazy. You know, crazy <laughs> ass dude. Dude, crazy. What'd he say, Brandon? Man, he said the hard ER. I was going to say, he didn't say nigga. He, nah, he, he didn't say nigga. He's like, nigga, nigga, nigga. You I know, know he's not. Shit. Huh? He's huh? not black, but he is he a white dude? Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. He's white, man. Oh, yeah. Is he Jewish, though? He might be. We don't, He's a no, Jewish. I can, we don't I can never tell. tell. I don't know. You know I, I can never tell who, who's Jewish or not. Yeah. I, I guess Kramer? I, feel I give is, credit but... to the Germans for figuring that out because I just think they're Kramer, right. Kramer's the one on the right. Hold on. Yeah, him. Right there. This Damn. Man. Stretched yeah. out image. I know, yeah. <laughs> Dang, dude. Yeah, you Have you seen Seinfeld, though, Brandon? Yeah, I've seen a lot of them just randomly clicking on throughout uh-huh. the season. Yeah, I but do that. that's, the that's reason I ask. Every, every episode you can watch out of order. Mm-hmm. That's, that's I think I it's one of the greatest comedies of all time. Yeah. I just had to ask him because, you know, he wears that fucking Star Wars shirt and I he's know. never watched Star Wars. Yeah, yeah. Also, like three Star Brandon Wars pulled shirts. up to the open mic on Friday in the Star Wars shirt. He's never seen Star Wars. Oh, never some, like, black track. Pants and some black mm-hmm. leather loafers. <laughs> loafers. Bro, and they big as hell, yeah, yeah, man. It, like clown pants, Black pepper steppers, dude. <laughs> that was crazy. Yeah, I was just wearing that clown. Brandon guy. pulled up. He's like, oh, shit. I forgot. Yeah. <laughs> I looked like, Bro, you like, drove yeah. all the way here. Mm-hmm. Shit. And Brandon <laughs> got some there. big ass feet. Oh, dude. yeah. He was wearing them fucking U boats on his feet. Yeah, yeah. Dude, it's it's crazy. 13, maybe 14. All right. Spit your game. I'm going to hit the camera over there, baby. Go I tell him what it is. Feet, Call the radio station. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but hold on. No. no. You don't want that. <laughs> we took that part out where we talked about it. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Nobody knows the radio station where you're at, but he is Beast Move. So. Hell yeah. Beast Move. Yep. Beast Move. Keep a listen out. We'll request some Mo Lewis. Mm-hmm. Brandon's not going to realize it's not a prank whenever somebody <laughs> asks for Mo Lewis. Oh, yeah. Me. Yeah, I've, I've had plenty of prank calls. <laughs> like, I remember my cousin called. He's like, you remember me at, uh, what was that place called? Chili's? I was like, what, Chili's? He's like, yeah, I'm finna fuck you up. I'm like, for real? Hold up. What's going on? Everybody laughing. I'm like, what's funny? He's like, you'll see when you pull up and I fuck you up. And then when, he, when I found out, he was like just laughing and shit. I'm like, how you doing? And they hung up. 
It was my cousin. <laughs> what the hell? From like, Brent, I feel like you're the easiest person to prank. Yeah, yeah. you also do seem world. like you'd be in a Chili's. Hell yeah. <laughs> I'll be in there. Shit, I love I'll them. Be in the you, those crispers, man. Hell yeah. Oh, the chicken crispers, yes, dude? Man. man knows game. Mm, yeah. Knows what he's fucking Cheese talking fries about. fries with that bacon on it. I say, when it comes to like low end chain restaurants, Cheddar's is probably my favorite. No, I've never been there. They, Dude, you got to go. got to go. Okay, so this is, this. I've now we're talking, dude. Mm. Now we're fucking talking. Let's go, let's go. Appetizers at restaurants that they give you for free. Top oh. three. What is it? For me, number Chips. one overall, Texas Roadhouse, the fucking rolls oh. with that cinnamon butter. Yeah, 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 yeah. I fucked that shit up. Mm-hmm. You can buy a dozen rolls for like five bucks. And that's worth it. I'll just like I'll eat that as my meal. That shit is bomb. Do you get the butter with it when you order it up? Oh, yeah, uh-huh. dude. I had re- extra butter, dude. I ball out. So that, <laughs> and then the reason I, I thought of it, Cheddar's, dollars. they have these fucking honey butter croissants uh-huh. that they give you. Shit's flaky and it's nice. You feel a little gay while you're eating it, but it's nice. It's <laughs> yeah. a delicate food. And then third, I don't know. Everybody wants to say like Red Lobster, the Cheddar Biscuits, but I'm gonna be honest, right I don't there, really fuck with Red Lobster like that. You I'm don't aller- like Red Lobster? Oh, I'm allergic to shrimp. shrimp. Oh, so that eliminates yeah. a lot of shit. I like shrimp crab. Scampi is the best. There, I love the yeah. shrimp scampi. I wouldn't know, dude. I can go to town. I know you gotta start microdosing it. <laughs> microdosing <laughs> shrimp, dude. <laughs> you, you'll get over it after that. You, you I used to get the lobster pizza. I never had that. What? Dude, you got to try it. That I'm telling pizza? you. Pizza? Yeah, lobster pizza. It. What are it's you so saying, good, Brandon? Man. It is amazing. It's like, it's <laughs> it an appetizer. Have, but it doesn't have traditional sauce. It has some kind of like uh, Like Alfredo? Yeah, like kind of margarita. It's like a margarita pizza, mm-hmm. but with lobsters on it. Okay. Really okay. good. And then, what's y'all's, dude? What's hmm. your favorite? The, okay. Definitely the Texas Row House is up there, but I oh, would yeah. say cheddar. I like the cheddar biscuits better. Yeah. That's, that'd be my number one. And I'm always down for chips and salsa. Yeah, yeah. that's a classic. You give me dude. free chips and salsa, I'm with you. It's the MJ of appetite. Yeah. Really. Oh, yeah. But I do like those rolls. I'm, I'm trying to think of what else. <laughs> Brandon, I, mean, I know you got some, dude. Oh, right. You have yeah. to I know I got some. two. I got more than two, but I'm just going to say two. I got okay. uh, Red Lobster, of course, the mm-hmm. biscuits, and then Logan's Roadhouse biscuits. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay. Dude, it's, you got to try good. it, man. So well, that Outback bread, dude, the brown one. Oh, mm-hmm. I never had that. That shit oh, yeah, goes kind of crazy. Good. Now, at Cheesecake Factory, the brown one is the only good one. Whatever that white one is, just hard as shit. Break your fucking teeth out, dude. I, w- I refuse to eat that shit. Mm-hmm. I remember talking about it with Sci-Fi one time. He calls the brown lows the N-word lows. <laughs> and that's what he tells the waiter to bring you. He says, bring out the N-word lows. Of course, Sci-Fi does. <laughs> that's funny. Yelling shout out sci fi. Yeah, man. shout out. Yeah, that dude's awesome. Yeah, uh, we're going to build him up like Thanos in this motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> He's going to come disappoint. in. Dredge just to shake it. <laughs> I, when I intro, I'm be like, this dude can dunk. Believe it or not, this guy can dunk. What did he say the other day that he could do? It was like crazy athletic. He said he can put his, head, his, his uh, ankles behind his head. He said he could suck his own yeah, toe. I yeah, yeah, suck that. his own toe. I'm like, he what said, are you talking because about? Because he was talking about like, oh, when you know when you're fucking a bitch, you start sucking your own toe. I'm like, I don't. Yeah, I don't there's know. There's no what way my body about. would even move anywhere close to that, and I would yeah. break myself. Yeah, trying I'm to get not. I'm not How? limber, dude. I don't even understand what he's talking about. How do you suck your own toe while you? I don't know. Even if you were flexible, why? Yeah, what's the point? But where are you doing it? Like, what position are you well, doing? Well, he was, like, standing up, and he did, like, a cheerleader type mm. maneuver. If you think... So, wait till y'all get soft. <laughs> if you think he did that... He's built like a gnome. He says it himself. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gnome exactly built what body. Built like. I can't believe he said he lifted his leg up like that. And so, I couldn't I couldn't. But understand he did what he was do saying. it. He oh, did yeah. show us. He can do that. He can lift his leg up that high. Yes, he can mm. get it, like, parallel to his, like, his torso. Get the fuck out of here. Maybe this little motherfucker is sneaky athletic. Yo, Dom, your reaction was priceless, man. Because you were agreeing after you were like, yeah, you're right. Until you heard the toe thing. Then you were like, oh, <laughs> hell nah, man. What the fuck? <laughs> Dom's real on board until he's not. <laughs> yeah, it was like, he was on me. He was like, oh, okay, I see what he was. Oh, hell no. Nah. Yeah, because he was saying like regular shit. It was like, mm-hmm. you know, you get behind, you grab the, whatever he was saying. And he was like, you suck your toe. <laughs> what? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, are you saying sucking her toe? He's like, no, you suck your own toe. <laughs> oh, shit. That doesn't make any sense. I, I'm not a feet guy, yeah. man. I'm be honest. I definitely not my toes. Fuck oh, no. hell no. You're going to get sick, man. Why do you want to suck your own toe? <laughs> get gout in your mouth. Yeah, you're going to have issues. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got rid of, rid of my athletics foot. So it's all good. Yeah, you just piss on your feet in the shower, right? Or is that what they causes? They say that. That doesn't work. You got to get some real hair. You got to get some tough ass. <laughs> Dom's like, I tried it a lot. <laughs> I did it for like three months straight. It never worked. Multiple times yeah, a day. Yeah, tried to arc his feet. Didn't work, man. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good Dom yeah. impression. Damn, Brandon. 
Sneak Dizzy. Yeah, yeah. Dude, the classic. I don't know if anybody else had this. I'm sure Brandon might be able to relate to it. But the a classic joke when I was in school is when you would have a textbook and the little thing it says like issue date, return date, and it would be in there. In the first page, people would write Michael Jackson issued black, returned white. Like that's that was good. in like every textbook. That's good. It's a I good joke. That. Yeah, it's yeah. good. It's a good joke. That's a good joke. I like that. You know, some that fucking burnout kid was just sitting there mm-hmm. one day, and he was like, nah, "Fuck you." Calls the bomb threats. Michael Anna Jackson. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all well, nowadays one of those? they don't call. Oh them. man, all the time. Oh yeah, yeah, dude. yeah. We had a couple. Oh, we my school like somebody brought guns like multiple times with the intent of shooting up the school. Mm. Yeah. And then we don't have no fucking metal detectors. They just unlock the door at like 8 o'clock and give 30 minutes of free range to walk in the door. We're fucked, dude. Oh, yeah. Sitting ducks, man. Yeah, yeah. shooting fish in a barrel. (laughs) Yo, no joke. I think I actually stopped one almost. Because I remember my freshman year. Let me tell you. My freshman year, this dude, he was so mad at these kids. Because, you know, I was in the nerd. I was with the weird kids. Uh I I understand. Trying to find my way. (laughs) But, yeah, I'm there. And he's like, that's it. I'm fucking tired of this, man. I'm going to go shoot up the school. And he ran to the corner. And I looked at everybody. I was like, oh, shit. Let me go say, let me go talk to him. So as soon as I run to him, I said, first of all, I need your Facebook account. We best friends now so you don't kill my ass. But second of all. I was like, dude, don't do that shit. Hey, man, text me. Hey, you need something? And he didn't do it. Thank the Lord. I know. Brandon You're Wilson, a hero, dude. Fucking hero. I know. National treasure. God know, damn it. <laughs> we had, a, we yeah. had a guy who they would make him wear a clear backpack to school. Because oh. he had, like, they he wrote a list of people he's going to shoot at school. <laughs> they found it. And they're he like, you got to wear crazy. this clear backpack now. Mm. White too, I'm man. like, m- maybe move him. Maybe don't have him at the school. <laughs> yeah. The clear backpack doesn't make me feel better. Yeah. He's got an entire vehicle in the parking oh, lot. No. And, you know, he might keep that thing in there, dude. He might have that fucking thigh holster. Hell yeah. yeah. <laughs> he might have on a fucking a suicide vest, dude. I don't yeah, fucking never know. know. Shit's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, my sister just had one of those recently. She she uh, went back home because somebody threatened to show up to school. That's yeah. crazy. Yeah. With all these people. But you, that was black people where you at, huh? Oh, yeah, dude. Uh, I, I didn't know they did bring, that. Yeah, dude, this dude brought a fuck. No, that guy was white. But this dude, <laughs> this dude brought a fucking, what was it? Yeah, he looked like Markiplier. That dude. <laughs> <laughs> but, dude, this dude pulled up with a fucking BB gun. He's like, look at this, Brandon. And every time I look down, he just opened it and flashed. He's like, he tried, I think he tried to shoot me in the hand with it once. I ducked down. I just heard, Whoo! I looked up. And he had it. He just laughing. <laughs> like Mike Tyson some weird shit. <laughs> yeah, man. I like how Brandon like Matrix dodged a bullet. In <laughs> yeah, that was fucking and weird. Nobody shit. said anything, and he always brought. It. I was like, so nobody gonna say nothing about this dude with this BB gun just flashing? No. Yeah, they're weird kids, man. Yeah, we didn't have that. <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah, we that dude was that. crazy. I remember my first day. I was trying to go out this girl right, and as soon as I sat down, he did the most classic fucking trick in the book. Boom. Move the fucking chair, bro. It's a heartbreaker. Even she fell back. She's like, oh, my God, she okay? Tried to pick me up from the shit. I was, no, I was skinny then. She could have picked me up. <laughs> yeah, back then, you remember, I was fat ass. <laughs> you seen it in the last one. at least one. once a day. Back when I was fat as shit. <laughs> oh, hell yeah, man. Dude, I heard shit. Is that mimic like, my walks. Is that the worst, like, prank you've had pulled on you at school? Was that one? Which one? The one where he pulled the chair out when you were Oh, no, out. the worst shit that's ever happened oh. to me. That I should have done something about. Uh-huh. Because this was a big ass deal was I was standing up and this kid came out of nowhere and quickly pantsed me, man. And it wasn't yep. just my pants. It was my underwear too. So as soon as it goes down, I just pull it back up. And I thought nobody saw until I got called to the office the next day. And the teacher was like, you know, Brandon, we were looking at the cameras and we had a witness come up and say uh, that you got pants. Is that true? You want us to do something about it? And I was like... Sure. Ain't no fucking way. Yeah, man. man. They they was watching the camera. Oh, yeah, they saw it they on the camera. They pulled the camera. camera. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, I'm how old them. were you, dude? Man, I was in like eighth grade. It's illegal to have that grade, footage. Eighth. I know. It's illegal to have that yeah, on like, the camera. Roll that back. <laughs> yep, oh, let me try to see. <laughs> yep, now. definitely got him. Definitely got him. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's they were doing. Man. Yeah, I I haven't been pants, but I saw somebody else get pants mm. in a epic fashion, dude. It was crazy. What happened? There was this guy like who I went to school with, and he was not. He's just a normal dude. Mm-hmm. Like nobody ever thought anything of it. And then this girl actually, she was like kind of like she a lesbian type, but she liked dudes. She went up and she pantsed him, 
like mm. on this main staircase in front of the whole school, Fuck he that. had on a bright ass red thong <laughs> when he got pants. Shut he never up. came back. Damn. I swear to God, he never came back to school. Everybody saw it, and we're like, what the fuck? Also, we're like 16, yeah. you know? I, I don't, it's, it just seems like a weird thing to do, you know? Yeah, he was yeah, living yeah, his yeah. truth, but the truth can be exposed. Yeah. yeah. Was it like a man thong, or at least? Is there, are there man thongs? I yeah, know. I know. I, don't know. I only I said, saw the back angle. Oh, hey, I didn't see the, the front part. angle. I don't know if it was like a banana hammock type <laughs> situation or what, but. In the bag, dude. It was it was thong, bro. It was oh, Cisco, damn. dude. Straight up thong. <laughs> oh, oh shit. Yeah. That's good shit. <laughs> you That's walking. fucked up for him, you know what I'm saying? He, he never came. He well, never, he, just, <laughs> he never <laughs> came back, dude. I, I I'm sure he's alive. Yeah, yeah. Probably just had to transfer oh, school. Yeah, he's you know? probably successful as shit now. Mm, damn. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> It was Heath Cordes, actually. Oh, he's good. He's clear now, dude. On the private jet? Did y'all see that shit? Yeah, man. Hell no. That's what's up. Or hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, out there doing it. Hell no for us. Hell yeah for you, dude. We'll just start, man. We'll get out. We'll get, hey. Hell yeah. One day, JJ. We're on the Honda Accord on the way to Campus 805. (laughs) He's in the private jet on the way to Las Vegas. 2019 Honda Accord. My bad, dog. Put that out there. My bad, dog. seen the grill on that thing? Yeah, <laughs> I saw the handicap sticker. On it. Hey, my, you did that one to me. Go. <laughs> People can't. We ain't it. never gotta walk to the fucking venue, dude. Oh, we get no. curbside parking. Hell yeah! <laughs> if my car makes it. So <laughs> I do. Okay, first of all, when we go to Camp Eight Hundred Five, mm-hmm. me and you always park in the same. I know spot, that's so fucking in the weird. Back. But my favorite thing to do is to sit there and wait for you to start backing out. Because mm-hmm. Brandon's driving is so fucking funny. Dude. Is it? Yeah. He, he's like, stop, start. He'll do like a 19-point turn mm-hmm. out of a parking spot. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and and you can just see Athena in the passenger seat like that. You know, she's mm-hmm. just like, fuck, do the fucking thing, dude. <laughs> and Brandon's like, I'm doing the thing. Yeah, I'm like, I'm taking my time. Shit, I don't want to hit the sidewalk. That's why I call shit, but <laughs> not a sidewalk. <laughs> All right, guys. Hold on. Yeah. <laughs> right. The AC cut off. Three, two, one, go. <laughs> but what they don't realize is, is that not everybody from the South wants to accept that Southern part of their identity. You know, I, I forgot the joke. <laughs> <laughs> right. that not everybody from the South wants to accept that Southern part of their identity. There are plenty of Southern things about me. For example, I lost my virginity in a double-wide trailer. Thanks. On an air mattress. <laughs> during the Iron Bowl. <laughs> to my country. Hell yeah! <laughs> it was my sister. <laughs> Did you guys believe that I'm single? <laughs> if I told you that? Hey, yeah, I'll dude. Look. The worst that part clip. about that clip, which I didn't, I haven't told anybody yet, dude, is when I'm up there, that lady in the green shirt in uh-huh. the front, it was either her or the lady on her left. When I'm up there and I forget the joke, I'm like, I forgot the fucking joke. And I look at my notes and she's like, you got this. And I'm like, bitch, I know I got this shit. What the fuck are you talking about? I'm going to hit three, four times yeah. a week. What the fuck are you talking about? I got this. I've been had this shit. This is <laughs> part of the shit, experience. Dude. That's funny. God, I hate white women, dude. Always got something to say, bro. <laughs> Unfucking real. Oh shit. No, but that was soul crushing in the moment. <laughs> she was like, "You got this," and I was like, "I fucking hope so, dude. We'll see." No, that's why I picked this clip because you fucked up, which I don't have the skill yet. You fucked up, got right back. Up. Matter of fact, you got to laugh with the fuck up. You, you have it. to play into it. Yeah, and what... then you came back and crushed for the rest of your set. Yeah, I mean, but you, you, when you fuck up, you have to acknowledge it. True. Make it funny, dude, because it, otherwise it just destroys the illusion of stage presence. Yeah. Like, if you're like, oh, f- uh, uh, mm-hmm. like, no, dude, it's like, fuck, I forgot, because that's my genuine reaction. I'm mm-hmm. like, fuck, I've been practicing this shit. It's three minutes of material. I can't fucking remember. I got to stop smoking, dude. Yeah. Like, fuck. My that's recalls why I say are brain annihilated. <laughs> but, yeah, and then I didn't even know my pocket was hanging out until I watched the video. And the stage lights are so fucking bright at stand up live, you can't see anything, oh, dude. Hell no. I look like a, 
<laughs> and that that fucking freeze frame like there, I look like Hiroshima. It just fucking exploded. I'm standing <laughs> 12 miles away. I'm about to be a shadow on somebody's dojo, dude. Oh, shit. <laughs> Holy shit. Brandon, please play the next one before I get in yeah, trouble. Play the next one. Oh my goodness. <laughs> it just, it just went oh, hard, yeah. boy. Damn. That was tough. All right. I'm glad this wasn't the Alex episode. Yeah, okay. <laughs> All right. Three, two, one, go. I like to hate things too, but I hate things that are important. You know, like grown adults who chew with their mouth open. <laughs> Tighten up, all right? <laughs> Tighten up. Or stuck up dogs, let me pet it. I usually start my set off by telling uh, you I'm black in some sort of way. You know, I know you get that, that's the end of it. I thought that was hilarious <laughs> that you re like re because you do do that bit a lot. Uh-huh. Like if you open up with it, oh yeah, the half black, half white joke. Mm-hmm. I thought it was funny that you framed it like that in the middle of your shit because I've seen you do that joke so many times. You're just like you say, uh, "Stuck up dog," you know, "Let me pet you," and then the <laughs> crowd laughs and you're like, "Yeah, I usually start my set by saying I'm half black <laughs> <laughs> in some sort of way." I thought that was really fucking funny. Yeah, because I get tired of. Like, I didn't do the joke at Boxcar one night, and then this uh, white dude, uh, Machine Gun Kelly, like, tight white, you know, he thought oh, he was good a little bit. I've heard you yeah, use yeah. this analogy before. Yeah, yeah, that's... that's <laughs> a good analogy. Uh, there, there's a lane. There's a lane for those type of whites. But uh, he uh, he was like, uh, he was like, you don't... I had told a joke about something. He was like, you don't look like a gangster. He's like, what are you? Uh... Mexican, uh, like he was all, he was like wanting to know, he's like Mexican, uh, half black, black, <laughs> like he was like, he was like hitting him with black, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, so I, now when I go up there, I have to say, like, I feel like I have to address it, because I hate doing the same jokes, unless I'm on a show, then, you know, I'm doing my best yeah, shit, yeah. but like if I'm on an open mic, I, I don't like doing the same joke, so I was trying to word it a different way. Uh, what I say, I look like, I was like, yeah, I know it can be confusing because with this hair, I look like I can dance reggaeton or, uh, <laughs> or uh, I sell cigarettes at an off-brand gas station. Oh, yeah, yeah that was funny. Man. My favorite, the tag of like that joke is uh, I look like I either own the gas station or I'm going to rob it. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, yeah, So man. true. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> so true. I like the letter P, too, when you be like, I look like the letter P. <laughs> that's good. I appreciate it. I'm trying to work on, now when I'm going out to open mics, all new shit. Yeah, I'm not. I mean, unless unless we get a little crowd, I'll hit you with something. Yeah. You know, guys start coming out. Yeah, yeah the uh, the speakeasy mic's probably the best. Yeah, open mic in town right the now because there's sure. genuinely yeah. people there to see comedy mm-hmm. that don't go out to the other mics. You know, it's yeah. like a real crowd, and, and it's like people are just there anyway. Yeah, you know, in sure. campus eight oh five, and then they can just filter in. Yeah, and it's it's always a good crowd. Oh yeah, always. I mean, if I was out and somebody was doing a free comedy show, I mean, obviously, I'd probably be on the fucking... I'd be doing yeah. the mic. Yeah. But if I was somewhere else and I wasn't in a comedy, they're doing a fucking open mic. Yeah, I'll watch. Hell yeah. There's mm-hmm. a chance somebody says something crazy. They get and fucked it, up. And if you want to see that... <laughs> it's like hockey. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. If you want to see that, go to the boxcar, because there's no rules. Oh, yeah. Now, we should probably tell them, like, with each mic, boxcar on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Boxcar is like the fucking drunk uncle of the open mic scene. My favorite. comedy. You can say anything to him, and he might agree with it, or he might fucking hit you upside the head. <laughs> you know, it could go either way. Yeah, yeah. And then Cannabar. I like Cannabar. Yeah, yeah Cannabar is good. Cannabar is like a... That's the shot. Cannabar yeah. is like a stoner mic. Mm-hmm. Everybody's fucking high. Yeah. Dante has given some legendary performances oh, at the yeah, Cannabar, man. dude. Wait, wait Grace you guys the stage. Dante, That's man. where the He's weed the song originated. Shout out Dante Huff. Shout dude. out Dante and his weed song. We gotta have him up. We hope he's on. Hey, clip. Dante's on the Veteran Show, mm-hmm. Fourth of July and December, produced by Carson Elmore. Go yep. see it at the Cannon Bar. Hell yeah! Come on down. I'm on there too. Uh, we got Dan Price, Ty Funny, Raina. Uh, Who else is on there? It was Andy, Ash, and Andy too, and Ash. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, should be a good show. Should be a good show. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! All right. Anything oh, co- oh, come see me December 7th at the Silver Dollar Comedy Open Mic. Hell yeah, he's hosting. Hosting. It's going to be will... a good one because everybody's he's going to have roast for everybody. I already know it. Oh, so yeah. I'm already planning on it. I'll day. just write something for everybody, see who the fuck shows up, dude. Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's going to be a good one, too. Everybody, that's the one most people come to. 
Yeah, but but I I do have to like do Jonathan's job, which Jonathan does a lot in yeah. terms of promoting. So like I have to go grab people and seat them and shit. I have yeah, to be yeah. like a real fucking host, dude. Oh wow, I that's can't good. Just... That's good practice. Yeah, man. that is yeah. good practice. Cause you yeah. gonna be a host one day, man. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I can't wait to see it because I missed the time you host uh, on last week. Same yeah, that, w- that one was easier, though, because it's a show and like some people are doing like 10, 15 minutes and Jonathan does 30. Mm-hmm. The, only, the funniest part about when I hosted that was at the very end when Jonathan finished his set and said, bring him back up your host. And I was like, I got to go up there again. <laughs> I was like, And he was walking off the stage. I was like, what the fuck do I say? I don't know what to say. He's like, oh, the tip jar and to okay. thank him for coming mm-hmm. out and everything. I was like, yeah, okay. And I went up there, and I had he brings a hat, like an old school, like uh, bowling hat, you know. And he he gave it to me, and I went up there, and I'm like, "All right, I'm about to beg y'all for money now." <laughs> and just held it out. Nobody laughed. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best. And I was like, "Thanks for coming. <laughs> <laughs> Means a lot." 